was in weeks. We've been so bad. We've been so bad. With the get. Yeah. It's like Hayley's leaving the house and I'm like, oh, oh shit, we did vlog. <laughs> it's bad. It's yeah. bad. But that's a sign of we're being working hard. Yeah, productive, busy, and we enjoy each other's company. We're so, taking, we're taking, taking notes. notes. Yep. Using up that parasonic pad. Yes. <laughs> Christmas decorations. Yay! Yep. Um, so we are going to head back to Cat and film Huge News, December part two. Yep. Yay! Yep. I, I know my days and numbers now. Until, Until the we're actually going. filming and then I'll be like, I don't know, September 2046, part 12. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so that's, that's the plan. Yeah. Fun, exciting stuff. Hello guys, it is Sunday evening. I'm gonna try and get in a spot where the lighting's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, so I am back from Cats. I just got back a few minutes ago. I've put dinner on and I want to show you this before I put it on the tree. Da 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 da! It says, Merry Leaping Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. Kat got it for me. She is such a darling. She knew that I was after something Christmas related that had a swear word on it and she found it. She found it. It was from Typo. Um, so I'm going to show this to mum. Mum's going to laugh and then I'm going to put it on the Christmas tree. There it is. So cute. Merry fucking Christmas everybody. Hi guys, it is Monday morning. Um, I woke up really fucking early this morning. It was just before 6.30 and I I do know why I woke up. I had a weird dream. Um, I had a car accident in my dream and it kind of gave me anxiety because I've just <laughs> renewed my insurance and um, because the car is a year old and I'm trying to keep my costs down, um, I went full comp. Oh, look, and I'm just about to cause a fucking car accident myself, aren't I? Good. Um, I, I went full comp, which, you know, I suppose most people do when they have a new car. Um, but my car is no longer, like, insured old for new. And I can still get that if I want it. But I pay a lot more money, um, so I figured, you know, better to save the money because I don't think I'm going to ride off my car, but then again, fucking knock on wood, Jesus Christ, why am I even talking about that? Why did I have that stupid dream? Um, <laughs> the dream is not what I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, where am I going? Oh, I'm going to Burwood. I'm going to pick up some um, isopropyl alcohol to clean my brushes and then I'm going to Chadston. Um, the freeway looks bad, bad traffic. Um, so what I want to talk about and I want to make this quick because it's a really hot day in Melbourne and I am literally cooking in my car like it's an oven. Kat and I uploaded a video to Beauty News. Uh, we actually uploaded two videos. They are the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. So we did a demo and like first impressions. And we also did a video where we broke up the product in the compact and um, weighed it to see if the advertised amount is the actual advertised amount. And it was, like it's even more. And to compare it to another product, we broke up a 15 gram blush and weighed that. Well, it turns out that the blush had only 13 grams of product in it. Um, but we didn't really, like we just said, good on you, Jeffree Star. You know, you've got the advertised amount in there plus some, which is what you would expect. Um, and we didn't even really talk about the other brand not having the advertised amount in it because it wasn't really about that. It was just a, you know, it was just meant to be a fun little video for people to be entertained. We usually fucking cry a river when we smash a makeup item by accident. So we thought, let's have a giggle and do it on purpose. 
and considering the type of product it is like it's a black highlighter it's not something that Cat is going to use I'm certainly not going to use it it would make a glorious eyeshadow which we did say in our um, first impressions video but again there's so much product like I'm not gonna use a shimmery sort of blackened bluish gray eyeshadow it just it's just not where am I going I feel like I'm not going the right way I feel like I'm getting myself lost yeah I'm going a really bad way oh what am I doing to myself I need to get back um, anyway this is what happens when I drive and talk anyway that video the one where we're breaking up the product has become quite popular um, it's getting a lot of views and <sighs> fucking hell some people on the internet are just so so fucking rude like I just think how do you get through your life on the daily basis without getting slapped in the face by someone who is not willing to put up with your bullshit these people like that I'm sure they're not like this in their daily life I'm sure they have the capacity to be very kind sweet people but on the internet when they're watching our video they are not that type of person they are rude and I just oh my god I have this morning I got up and I was checking the stats on the video and I thought oh just have a look at some of the most recent comments oh my god it was just like People calling us idiots, like almost every second comment, someone is calling us stupid or idiots. And it's just like unbelievable. They don't get that there's a lot of like sarcasm in the video. Um, and also saying things like, because we put a paper towel on the scales so they didn't get covered in black shimmery crap. Um, you know, they're saying, oh, you have to take into consideration the weight of the paper towel. And, like, we did that. We really did do that. But also, you have to take into consideration that we're not going to keep 35 to 40 minutes worth of footage in the video that is just us fluffing around getting the job done. People just don't... They don't get it. And they were also, like... They kind of make it out like we're trying to have a dig at Jeffree Star. Kat and I don't give a fuck about Jeffree Star. Like, on Beauty News, we discuss current beauty-related issues or issues with people who are in, like, the beauty community in the public eye. But after we finish filming Beauty News, we fucking leave that shit in the office. Like, we don't give a fuck about it. We're not on a witch hunt for Jeffree Star. We bought a very expensive highlighter because we thought it would be an entertaining video for our subscribers on Beauty News to watch. And then we thought, well, how else are we gonna use it? What do we do? Do we stick it in a drawer forever and let it go bad? Or do we like try and make another entertaining video? We went for the latter and now we're being punished for it. So. I have vowed to stay away from those comments because people are just so insanely rude. Um, there have been some really lovely comments and if you are one of those people who left a lovely comment, we love you. You're a beautiful person. You make getting up in the morning easy and worth it, especially when it comes to creating content for YouTube. So that's my little rant of rude people on the internet today. Um, I am definitely staying away from those comments because I just, uh, I don't need to like purposely ruin my day. They are just rude people and that's all it comes down to. Hi guys, it is Thursday. Um, it's about half past 11 and I am having a no makeup day. Um, I'm going to get some work done. I have to, 
I was going to do some filming, but I just can't be fucked. So instead, I'm going to take photos and sort of prep some blog posts and stuff like that. Um, I want to show you something. So what we have here is kind of my to-do pile. Now, a lot of people write lists to get shit done and remind them. I have a to-do pile. I do also write lists, but this is sort of my way of keeping things so in my face that I feel pressured to get them done because I make such a mess. Um, <laughs> I have actually completed a lot of like work that I needed to do on these products. So I am now going to go through all of this crap and put away stuff that is no longer, um, you know, I don't have to do anything with it. Um, I can just enjoy the product. Um, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And here is the pile now. It's not really that much better, to be honest. Um, there are a few things that, like, I just got to do a tiny bit more work and they can go away. Actually, this one was published today, so that can go. Um... But the rest, just just a little bit of work. A lot of these things I actually need to test out. Ugh. But um, yeah, getting there every day. Do a little bit more and get there. Goals. Hi guys, it is Friday evening. It's nearly 6.30. I, uh, what did I do today? I went down Chapel Street, um, took some clothes in to be altered some dresses that need to be taken up because I have short legs um, and I don't like it when my maxi skirts drag across the ground. So took in some clothes. Uh, I went to Mac to buy something for an episode of Beauty News or an episode of... Oh god, I'm tired. I haven't eaten today and my brain's just like, no, we're not, we're not cooperating. We're not doing anything today. Um, I bought something for a beauty news video um, and I've just unboxed some stuff, filmed some videos. Um, I need to edit this vlog so it can go up tomorrow and I need to publish a review like now. So that's the plan. I'm going to a Christmas party tonight for like my dad's um like pool club it's like it's a gentleman's club it's not like a rude gentleman's club um but it's like back in the day it was called a gentleman's club and it was a place where they used to hold um pool competitions lots of like really famous pool players played there they have huge tables like huge billiard tables um, and I think there's meant to be a difference between billiard tables and snooker tables. I don't know what they are, but they have all sorts, and some of them are massive, like, absolutely massive. Um, I've tried to play on them before, and it just doesn't work, because I'm so small, and the tables are so big, and the cues are huge, and I'm just like, I feel like a midget. I feel like... I feel like Alice in Wonderland and I like drank a shrinking potion or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go down there and see all dad's friends and have a little drink. So that should be nice. Um, and tomorrow I'm off to Cats to film Beauty News, which will be fun. It's always good fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that's what's happening at the moment um oh something I did do something I did do I brought a costume for the cat it's an elf costume and it's like a hat and I think a collar and little like socks that you put well not socks they're like uh little bands that you sort of put around their feet and they've got like little twisty elf feet um I want to put her in it, but I don't really have time tonight. I need to stop fucking around and actually get some work done. So, I might do that tomorrow night. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Um, 
maybe Sunday afternoon. I've got my cousin's 10th birthday party on Sunday. So maybe in the afternoon. It'll be in next week's vlog. Um, which will be perfect timing for Christmas. Oh, burp. Um, Alright guys, I'm going because I'm just rambling. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.